I'm on camera duty. Yep. Okay. So Valerie's gonna catch it if it falls. Welcome to a drive with me and my mom video. Valerie's doing Facebook like normal. I'm driving. No, I'm actually making sure that we're not going to run into a traffic issue. Oh yeah. On the way to my doctor's appointment. Yep. We are on the way to a doctor's appointment. We will arrive at 9 a.m. And uh, we love it there. I'm just kidding. Um, but I was thinking, because sometimes like I plan things to talk about, so it's not like just dead silence. I'm gonna try to not edit this. This will hopefully be like a one take wonder. So, so am I gonna get a chance to talk, or are you gonna talk the whole time? Yeah, you can talk about whatever you want. Oh, but okay. I had ideas just in case if you were a little stuck. Am I ever stuck no, with things to talk about? You never stuck. That's well, true. I would like to welcome all of Alex's <laughs> viewers to our drive with us. Drive with us. <laughs> YouTube video yeah. and let's see I have a interesting day planned I am going to be grading papers all day and then <laughs> I have class tonight because yeah. we're still teaching from home at uh, at DeVry and Keller where I teach DeVry University and Keller Graduate School of Management so can they hear that? Maybe. I could okay. hear it. All right. Well. It's okay. I think your viewers probably have heard that I wear hearing aids. Yeah. It's connected with Bluetooth to the GPS. And so and when it goes into my yeah. hearing aids, and sometimes there's an overspell. Anyway, so I work for DeBry University and Keller Graduate School of Management, where I teach business law and business ethics classes. But because of COVID, we still teach everything from home. Yep. So tonight, I have a three-hour class that I'm teaching. So that is, so today, really except for on the way to the doctor's appointment, I have all work. Doesn't that sound exciting to everyone? Very exciting. Very exciting. Also, a uh, little fitness update. I worked out four times this week. Today was a struggle. I was like not going to get up because I didn't want to. And um, did you stay up late? No, I didn't. I went to bed at like ten thirty. I don't know. I just feel like I need more sleep. I don't. I don't know. It's weird. So that's like the fitness update. I went. I went on my run this morning, and it was good. the The weather is like calming down a lot. So I mean, with like heat wise, you know. Yes, it is much nicer. Yeah, I'm just holding it so like when I Here, accelerate I'll, the no, camera. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is getting better. It actually, it's less the fall hot. is very pretty here. It is, but the fall it's actually, still like summer in a lot yeah. of places. <laughs> but it's nice here. So yeah, Central Florida does have eh, probably three seasons. I mean, they have summer. it has summer for about nine months. Yeah, <laughs> and then you have about oh, I would say two months of fall and one month of spring true but, so but um, it's basically like summer winter yeah actually probably yeah because really in october mm -hmm. you're still in almost more summer yeah you're really into fall in november and december that's true but you know maybe we do now that i think about it we did january can get chilly yeah it is i mean we'll watch chilly to a floridian here i'll hold the camera here okay, to make here. sure we don't Go, go, uh, yeah, let's go see. flying away. December is usually nice. Yeah. Nice fall type weather. Exactly. So we're in October, so we're pretty, pretty much still in summer, even though we do have some, some bonus cooler mornings and cooler evenings. Yep. But yep, November and December would be fall, and then January would be winter. Yeah. And, and with a touch of February. And a touch of February, but I can say that by my birthday, which is February 22nd, so if you want to send cards and gifts, it's February 22nd. We close the P.O. box. <laughs> I think we shut the P.O. box down, so I don't know yeah. how they'll still send them. Um, but um, the, the um, by, by that time, it is normally into spring. Yeah. And probably we have spring for... 
I'm going to say February and March. Yeah. But by the time we are into April, we're back into hot weather again, I think. So, also, I wanted to touch on, this is like the one topic I wanted to touch on. Talk about the frog, okay? Oh, uh, the frog. Oh, man. Well, I don't even know if there are multiple frogs or not. There's multiple. There's like a family, because remember we saw, we found the baby one. Frog family, yes. Yes, yes. Well, well, <laughs> we, we have frog fright. <laughs> frog pho phobia. Frog fright phobia. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, our Funny. frog fright phobia really happens in the evening because we have learned now that the frogs live in this one area mm -hmm. of my plantings that uh, because of my leg I haven't had really the opportunity to really get in and clean up yeah but I will be destroying their habitat here <laughs> hopefully here within the next couple weeks so that the frogs will have to find a new place to live. I'm not going to hurt the frogs. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to hurt the frogs. Half of, the, half of me thinks one of them's my prince. I should try kissing one. Well, I don't think I don't, I don't think that story about the prince thing is real. Is real. I always get Valerie's going. I know. Well, that. you know, I mean, if you want to, but I'm afraid you're going to get like a disease. some kind of disease from <laughs> kissing a frog. And then I go to the doctor. So Alex had it. And some of those frogs are little, so you How might end up get getting them in your way? mouth if you try to kiss it. Great. Ugh. So anyway, I have had advised my daughter, please not do not kiss, the, kiss frog. the frog. Mm. But uh, but anyway, so the frogs in the evening are what freaks us out. So when we come back from, usually from Disney yep. is when that happens. So we go to Disney, you know, once or twice a week um, with well-masked yeah. uh, and <laughs> with a with a vaccinated and well masked, and um, and you know, so so we're really not like afraid to go to Disney. I mean, right. you know, we're back going to Disney again, uh, and it's very nice because we all love Disney. But um, but when we come back, you know, it might be ten o'clock, eleven o'clock at night, and even probably starting as early as nine o'clock. Yeah, Fro Froggy out. and his friends come out mm -hmm. and. The, and we do see that we do know that they are out in the evenings because the next morning there is frog excrement that we can see little frog excrement yep. that I have to take the broom and clean up. Yep. And so they do leave little trails of gifts for us. <laughs> but the frogs will, you can see them and they're like, you know, I mean, I'm, I don't want one to to jump on me. I mean, it, that's that frightens me. I mean, it, it would cause me really to scream and then well, somebody would call. You already have seen I know. that funny video of Valor going, ah, and I'm like, I, I was know. just saying I like your belt. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so. Oh, also the reason why you're not on my car tripod, my car mount, is because we're in Valerie's car. So I just want to also clarify that. Because I have a car mount, so I don't, like, have to worry about the camera or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Because, but yes. We're in Valerie's car. Because I really like driving this car. If you guys don't know, this is a Ford Escape. I think I vlogged us getting it, but it's one of the newer versions, I think. Yes. So... Well, well, they had Ford Escapes for years, but they remodeled. They remodeled the whole. They restyled car. the whole thing, and so I really um, enjoy driving it. Yeah, I I uh, turned in, turned in. Uh, 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 um, I had a used car that I traded in uh, as part of my payment for this new Ford Escape in 2020, and I can just tell you that the difference between. I can't remember what the other Ford Escape was that I had. It was, like it was probably about five years old, I guess. Yeah. But I'd driven it so much back and forth to Ohio oh, that the the, that it was like had like 120,000 miles on it. Yeah. And I didn't want... They still say we're on the fastest route, so um, we still should get there by nine. Okay. So, um, so the, when I turned in the Ford Escape... Um, turned in, God, traded in the Ford Escape. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the traffic. I get easily distracted. 
uh, I was just amazed how much nicer and and prettier and sportier and easier to drive yeah. and wonderful new technologies and features that the new Ford Escape has. So I think all of us would agree that the Ford Escape that I had, which probably was like a 1994 excuse me, no, I don't mean 1990, 20, I'm living in the past. Yes. Uh, 2016, maybe? 20, yeah, 15 or 16. Yeah, 2015 or 16. Um, yeah, I just had an abnormally high number of miles on. It was starting to, things were starting to break, so. Mm -hmm. But um, the difference between that Ford Escape and, which I liked. Yeah. But the, this one is just like night and day. I love this car. Yeah. Don't you love this car? Yeah, if I was like considering getting a new car, like I would actually consider like getting this one, this like model. Yeah. Because I really like it. Yeah, and it's like easy to drive and it's yeah. comfortable uh -huh. and it's just the right size. It is. It's just the right size. Yeah, you can you can still you know put a lot of stuff in the back. You can the seats fold down. I feel this is not a commercial for Ford. No, so you know. no it's not a commercial for Ford. No, they, we're just saying how much we like the car. But Ford, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> yeah, hit us up, man. Uh, there you go. <laughs> we really like this product. We love it. <laughs> so anyway, anyway. but. Uh, no, but actually, I have bought Ford products for not, many, not to many change years. The topic, but but I I had a <laughs> Ford um, pickup truck. It was a Ford oh, Ranger. Good old Betty. Oh yes, we called it Betty Ford, uh, and that pickup truck was a 1992 truck. Bought it new, and it lasted until 2008, mm -hmm. and if the um, it had like a like a severe problem, like it was like a transmission issue. I think it was, oh. and it just wasn't it it just wasn't worth it to fix it. Yeah. But I love that truck. That was a great truck. We used to go and when we lived in Ohio, well, and even here in Florida for a few years when we tried real Christmas trees, which we learned that Florida the Christmas trees like aren't the same. Right. Uh, and, and they also have lots of bugs in them. Uh, but um, in Ohio, we always took Betty Ford out, got our Christmas tree. It was so great. Just put it in the back of the truck. And that was a great truck. And it, it was so reliable. I hardly had any issues with it. So, and I had a Ford van too. The, the van that we had when you were little, mm -hmm. that was a, it was a conversion van and it was a Ford product. So, now that I think about it, uh, I really like Fords. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I, I mean, I, so I guess I do by default have brand loyalty because it seems like every time I go car shopping, I always end up with a Ford product. Yep. So, again, it's not a commercial for Ford, but it is a very, very good product in my opinion. That's true. So... Anyway, do they know where we're going? Yeah, we said that we're going to your doctor's Yeah, office. it won't care. <laughs> Our home away from home. Yes, twice a week. Yes. Do, do they know what you drive? It's what? for safety. It is for safety because uh, my doctor, not my wound care doctor, but another doctor uh, that I go to uh, has given me uh, drugs to help me endure the pain <laughs> of wound care. Yeah, well, so they're like is strong not a pain experience. medications that they gave her just for like these days because they do this thing called debridement and they scrape her leg. <laughs> a little graphic, you know, graphic warning, but they scrape yeah. her leg and like everything. So it's painful. It's very painful. And it's painful in the aftermath too, so it kind of helps get me over the This is a PSA. Huh? If you have varicose veins, which a varicose vein is like... You can see the vein through your skin, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, if, I don't anyway. really have an illustration to show because <laughs> I can't get my leg up that high. True. But if you have them, that means you have poor circulation and you need to do exercises and wear compression 
sucks. Yeah, and you know, the interesting... And your wounds will not heal. So, like, make well, sure... Well, well, they will heal eventually, but it'll take longer. Well, if, if you have very bad ones. Yeah. I mean, because I have varicose veins for years and never true, had this true. issue. True, Yeah. But... But it's but just I, a PSA. It... But I will tell you, though, that... Yeah. Here, I'll hold the camera here so Thank we can you, dear. continue to have this entertaining it, conversation. Well, yeah, and it's, uh, it's informative. Yes, and the thing about uh, my varicose veins is, you know, it's, it's, I don't think it's anything I did or didn't do. It's just hereditary. But I had varicose veins from the time that... I mean, in high school, I had some varicose veins. So, over the years... They've gotten worse, plus because I have been, I've spent, you know, the last 20 years in um, education doing a lot of um, real estate education, too. In those classes, uh, they would be, let's just say this, most co courses that you teach in real estate are not particularly entertaining because there's a lot of, like, uh, factual information you need to know, math. Uh, law and well I find those things to be fun to teach and to learn about mm, not necessarily do all the students it's almost like a necessary evil to take that education so that you can uh, get your real estate license right so um, so in order to keep your students attention uh, you can't just sit up at a desk in front of the the class. I mean, you've got to have, you know, you've got to walk around. Whoops, you can't see me here if I took okay. too much shade on me. <laughs> but you got to walk around. You've got to be entertaining. You've got to know, you know, you've got to be able to interact with the students and right. stand up. I right. mean, you know, one of the things that as a public speaker I have learned is that standing up makes a huge difference in how your audience perceives you. Mm -hmm. And so, and, a, and you can't just stand in one spot. You got to have some movement too. And I think I'm, I'm making a, a, a mistake here because I'm looking at the screen and I'm not looking at it's the okay, it's okay. lens. But and I should know better than that. But uh, <laughs> I'm just fascinated with my own image. But uh, but you, you have to. So when you're a public speaker, not only should you like look at the camera lens, <laughs> right. but you also need to uh, to entertain your audience you can't just be you can't be boring especially yeah. with all of the things that people do today with video games and you know with netflix and everything people expect to be entertained mm -hmm. and you have to realize that and so good public speakers are also going to be entertainers yeah. and part of entertaining is movement mm -hmm. and so i spent many years uh, gratifying years uh, teaching real estate courses and but I was up on my feet I was up on my feet for eight or nine hours a day what I didn't realize was that I was making my varicose veins a lot worse I mean I, more than I could visually see and I didn't even realize that it was like a bad thing to be making them worse because right. I always thought of varicose veins as cosmetic mm -hmm. and uh, and then I ended up with a wound on my leg we'll be celebrating the first anniversary soon of that wound oh, uh, I had get the, got this wound on my leg and one healing right and so I was like you know so I went to different things and finally ended up in wound care last April yeah uh, so I've been doing wound care now for what seven months I guess yeah. um, so a long time but the good news is that there is a solution to this yeah and that is they do an ablation which basically cuts off the varicose veins that are bad because what happens is is that when the blood doesn't circulate correctly mm -hmm. through your veins then uh, it will dump the waste product in, in your wounds <laughs> and it causes your wounds then not to heal yeah. correctly so what they do is they cut off uh, not cut off literally but cut off um, through this ablation process so that the veins are no longer expected to do anything right. and other veins take over so that you can get the right circulation and so they, heal and, they'll, and then your wounds will heal faster right, right. so, so that I'm looking forward to that 
October 20th. Alex can make a YouTube about it. Yeah. Uh, October 20th is Yay. the is my date, and I am so looking forward to that. Yeah. Because going to my wound care doctor, once that happens, then I, I even though I've seen a lot of progress in the healing of my wounds, because I did end up with two other ones in addition to the main one uh, yeah. during the course of time, uh, that um, that I should be well on the way to recovery. So I hope that by Christmas I will be back to normal. And by the way, I once I learned this, I immediately on my other leg started wearing um, support hose. Mm -hmm. And you can get them over Amazon, by the way. This is not an, this is not, you know, Sponsor. commercial for Amazon. Amazon's not sponsoring all the right. things I'm supposed to say. But, um, but you can get them in different colors. You can get them in different designs. Alex hates the ones I bought. You can get them in plain. I have my plain gray ones on today. Mm -hmm. But I can only wear one because the other leg is wrapped with like gauze and an ace bandage and a bunch of other stuff they put on it. And so I can only wear, so I wear a matching short sock. Right. <laughs> and then, so I look like Deedle Deedle Dumpling. I don't even know if they even do those nursery rhymes anymore, but... Um, you know, he had bunch you on and bunch you off. But anyway, I was sort of like Deedle Deedle Dumpling. So mm -hmm. Alex had all this list of things that she thought we could talk about. And I have just, I have just taken over having a baby. Yeah. Well, I only had that one about the frog. So uh, okay, we well, covered that. Okay, good. That was just in case if we needed stuff. But yeah, we never need stuff with me around. I want to keep this video like less edited because like I know a lot of you guys like to watch like just the raw footage, which I kind of like to do too because it's more just like I don't know, chill. Like it's like a podcast almost. We should. I mean, you really should start a podcast, Valerie. I mean. Then again, you're like busy with everything. Actually, so once things calm down a bit, yeah, you in should. 2022, yeah, I am. Okay. Because and then we could put the podcast on YouTube and stuff. That's right. Yeah. I am going to start one for my universe responding work. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thumbs Don't up. Don't forget to subscribe because you know we appreciate. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. -bye.